This well. Not a lot of fight in you, is there? You might be surprised. What do you want? I'd like to do with words what the Koran deprives my fists. What? I want to have a flighting match. I am ready to duel. My bet. Now speak. Let us see if your skills are a match for your pride. I am feared by all men, be they Northern or Saxon. And your thick little skulls fit for grinding my axe on. Stronger than I thought. Oh, you think you can scare me? I'm tougher than you. Test your might against mine and we'll see how you do. How dare you? Let's dispense with these poems and have a real row. 
If it's fighting you want, I shall take you on now. You think you're good with words, eh? How about your fists? I will have my winnings, please. Earn them! Ribs taken! yourself. I must say I'm impressed. A test for the mind and the body. Take what you've earned. Thank you. I will. Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodre, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. Thank you. Eivor gave orders to attack Kjotve's clan in Avalsnes. I knew even then our chance at victory was slim. It was a fool's errand. But Eivor demanded we strike, and I am not one to disobey my superior. Such is the mark of an honorable man. You all know what followed. We set upon Kjotve's men and were overwhelmed. You lot were captured and fit to be butchered, and Eivor here carried off to be sold into slavery, a fate worse than a fine death. But there is one fact you do not know. In the initial fight, I came upon Kjotve, cowering in an empty house. He did not see me. He got from there.
just how you imagine it. Power, my love. Come look. Hello, stranger. What is this place? If you like it, my wife and I have constructed it from ancient stones. It is a house of dreams and memories, fashioned from gossamer and summer breezes. It is beautiful. Paula and I have traveled near and far. Oh, the things we've seen and done! When I say far, I mean to distant lands beyond your imagination. Each brick of this castle is a memory from our adventures. You have gathered wisdom from your travels. I have, and it is this. It is all very well to prepare for tomorrow. But do not forget today. Today, this hour, this moment is a precious gift. Paula and I will look out from our window over the green of England and recall the hours of our travels. From our window, we can relive our adventures. There she is now! I must go to her! I thank you for your words, friend.
heaven, I'll never get it back. Lose something. Polish the family brooch up for my niece, put it down for two seconds, and it's gone. One of the sheep must have swallowed it. That would be one hungry sheep. It was my grandmother's given her by a very wealthy, uh, admirer. How will I get it back without hurting any of my lovely sheep? There is nothing tasty about a brooch. I have had no luck getting your brooch. Uh one of you swallow. Ah, yes. Feed the sheep and see what... See what's there. By the gods. How do I find myself doing this? A brooch. Not in very fine condition. Here's your brooch. Woo! That smell would knock over a horse. Just take it. It'll need a washing, but my niece will be so grateful. Many thanks, stranger. I will not help in this way again. Uh, a brooch. Not in very fine condition. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
stranger. In life, I was Cassivellaunus. I faced Gaius Caesar, called Julius. A clever man. We Britons had long fought each other, but the sea spewed forth Romans in their thousands. I rode to my enemies, the Atribates, the Iceni, the Cantiaci, beseeching each to join together. United, we awaited the legions and their cowardly turtle. Much blood was spilled, battles won and lost. Caesar declared victory and returned to Rome. But note well, stranger, he never came back.
quarry, filled with Britain's supply carts. Once I burn those, it will push Rodri to peace.
Show me what lies ahead. May you aid it, Aminu! What did you say to me? No one has ever dared to come all the way up before. What happens now? We fight. that you don't. This is my hill! Every patch of it! From the scrabble grass down there to the airy heights here! At it again. I thought I shut you up last time. <sighs> you again? Quit stalling. Anybody any longer? <sighs> this is my hill! Every this madman will not stop. Down there to the airy! You little shit! How many times must I beat you to mush? Oh, just you try! Don't take long! <laughs> Got your corpse! Oh, I give up! I give up! <coughs> you are the better fighter! Oh. Never forget that. I'm tired of defeating you. Oh, it's no pleasure being defeated. The hill is yours. You're the true champion. So, now I am king of the hill.
been so bored in here. Who is this witch that locked you in? A horrible old hag who wants to make me into rabbit stew. Thanks for helping me get out of here. You naughty boy. Just look at this mess. The house has been upended. Who is this? I fooled her. I told her you were a witch and you were going to eat me for supper. Well, that's a fine how do you do. It will take me weeks to put this place in order. <laughs> we had a grand time. I am no witch. I am the kindest, sweetest mum to ever lock a lad in a house. How else teach you not to pick your nose? Thank